Hi guys, today's review is all about the School Shaver Pitbull Platinum, which is an electric head shaver that's dedicated to shaving heads. This is a pricey item, it's priced up around about $200 or £200 in the UK, so it's kind of a premium product or a, a luxury item. In the review we'll look, at the, we'll look at the features, what you get with the shaver, we'll do a quick head shave, then I'll, I'll take a look at the pros and cons. I'll also include some some slight comparisons with the school shaver pitbull gold pro because it's a, they're very closely related and it's worth showing you the differences between these my name is jason i run the website shavedadvisor.com i review many men's grooming products including men's head shavers manual razors shaving creams and, 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 and other products and one of the things that I cover a lot of is these electric head shavers I've probably used about 15 or so of them you can see many reviews on the website plus I've got a, a, a good few reviews done now on YouTube something that helps to get these reviews on is my gifted balded head if you do find the video useful at all please do hit the subscribe button that helps us move this channel forward and we'd really appreciate that and you, you can stay up to date with the new reviews that i have out as well and just a few thoughts on this shaver before we get started in the review i generally recommend the score shaver pitbull gold over the the platinum and that's because of the, uh, the difference in the price and what what you get extra or what you don't get extra for the platinum however some people might want that luxury side of it or the uh, the premium side of it where you get the, 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 the case with it and the, the stand and the, the couple of extra things. Let's take a look at what you get inside the box and what the features are of the shaver. Okay, we've got the shaver. That's the rinse stand. There's a small pouch there where you can put the shaver inside. A nice velvety pouch. A plug with cord. A blade cap cover. And that's the storage box. That's an extra pouch inside instruction manual and the cleaning brush so with the pitbull the school shaver brand they have two ways of holding the shaver that's the standard way and also with cupping your hands there this this design is patented so you won't find copies of these on amazon because i've got a paint on the design which was smart of them to do right now the blades the blades were flex here that's good for going along the various consoles of the head they also flex the blade there which you don't get on all head shavers so that's that's uh, additional that's an additional benefit the blades open here if you, for cleaning purposes also the, this can be undone here and that can be taken out if needed if i can just get that and if you need to really give the blades a good thorough clean or there's a fault with them but otherwise they won't need to come off now this here is a collection chamber for the debris the power button the shows how much percentage in charge that you have left there's 93 percent if you hold the button for a few seconds it the travel lock will come on so when you when you're transporting the shaver around it won't just come on and then hold it for another five four or five seconds and the shave the shaver lock will come on the blade head can also be taken off if that needs to be replaced. Now the rinse stand, the shaver, if you just push it, slot it inside there, that fits there nicely. And actually I quite like this because it's, you can just use this to, as a place to sit when it's not in use. The blade cap cover, that's an additional thing that is useful to have. That will protect the blades and not in use. You'll get 90 minutes run time, which in a, the battery takes about two and a half hours to fully charge. You can also give it a quick charge if you just need to get a five minute shave and it can also be used with the cord and without the cord. Right, now for a quick head shave. I've already shaved this down or trimmed it down rather. You can see I've got some, some growth there. Not a lot of growth, but we don't actually, when we use these, we don't want a lot of growth. These are best used when you shave daily or every couple of days or if you've got any growth there at all, trim it right down because it'll help the, it'll help make the job quicker. Plus it'll save on the blades. Right, we're running on 97% and now let's see what I have left after this shave. Something I like about these school shavers, they're, they're pretty quiet. You listen to any of my other videos, that they, these, are, these are very quiet compared to most of us. That's, so that's the standard way of using it. And then cuts their patents in design. Now 
know, to get around by the ears, a lot of us have trouble with hair being left there. It's just the best we can do is try and pull our ear down and run the blades over it. And of course, it's never going to get as close as a manual razor, you know, a cartridge razor or safety razor. But these are all about these are all about convenience, and they rather than rather than being the, the closest shade we can get. Now, if anything like me, if you've got recede around here, you you sometimes get extra stubble left over here to to reduce that. What I do is make the skin taut, uh, pull the skin taut, and it'll get it, it'll get the shave a bit closer. Right, oh, yeah, that's doing the that's doing the job well. If you're going to get any irritation at all from head shaving when you first use them, it'll be at the back of the neck, this area here. One way you can avoid that is the first few times you you use it is use it wet, you wet shave with shaving cream or gel until you acclimatise to the, the new shaver. Double check there. The design is nice the way you can, you know, you can cup it in your hand like that. It does, it does make it really easy. I think school shaver was clever to get a paint on this design otherwise, design, otherwise the Chinese would have been all over it on, uh, on Amazon. Right, that's done really, just, I'll just keep going over it a little bit. Okay, job done. Yeah, it's pretty close, these school shavers are closer than a lot of the head shavers I use. I used one called uh, Brio Rays recently, and that was not that was not too clever at all, not very comfortable. One thing I get with the school shade as well is comfort, more comfortable. All right, let's see what we've got left. So 93%. Do I start on 97? So that's 5%. Okay, job done. Now I'm going to put some moisturiser cream that I'm testing out. Testing out. It'll, this will be a review. This I'll put this as a review on the website. I probably won't do videos about this kind of stuff, but who knows in the future. Right now, after every head shave, you want to clean up the shaver. You don't have to, you don't have to clean it with water every time or in the rinse stand, but it's, it needs to be brushed out at least. First thing I'd always do is tap, tap some debris out. There's plenty there. Give it a blow. And we've got the brush as well with it to get any out from the edges like here because these generally, generally can get stuck even when they get wet. Then the rinse stand, what I would do is fill it with warm water. But what I would do as well is add, add in some anti, hand antibacterial soap. And then pop the shaver in. There we go. Let's see how clean they are. And the soap suds in there. Actually, with the soap suds on there, I'd probably rinse that off first rather than dry your soap on there. Okay, job done. Let's see, see the sort of suds on there, so get all them, get all them soap suds off. Perfectly clean. You can also, if you need to clean it under the tap, the, the, the normal way of the stand. Okay, let's let that sit with the blades off to let it dry. Let's get into the pros and cons and the pros, I really like the school shavers blade system where this flexes and they flex as well for get, going along the various contours of the head. I like the collection chamber which is very useful for collecting debris while shaving. I really like the stand actually, that's very useful even for when you're not even for when you're not 
cleaning the shaver just for popping it inside and letting it sit there on you know on your on your shelf i like being shown the percentage to charge because that gives you an idea of what's left in the battery and the blades are very comfortable the blades are very comfortable and it's very quiet when it's switched on that doesn't really it's not a deal breaker is it the sound of it but it's still nice that it's it's quieter okay so the cons now the cons really is more about the the price comparison with the the school shaver gold pro because it's an extra hundred dollars and in reality the shavers are very similar apart from this the platinum has the extra uh travel lock otherwise it's the same battery it's the same speed uh, it's the same blades so i think that's the only that's the only con really is is the uh the negative thing is the price difference and maybe somebody some people won't get on with that the uh, patents and design most people will but then if you're always holding it that way it's quite um it's quite it's quite high you know compared to let me look at another shaver if you look at another shaver like the the remington rx7 or R, remington border pro that's see the height is a lot it's a lot less uh, height on the, the remington but that's just if you if you, you don't really want to use the the pace to design if you like the pace and the design then yeah that doesn't matter now i like having the the case and i definitely like it, the rinse the rinse stand the rinse stand is only an extra 15 dollars so you can kind of purchase that with a gold pro if you wanted to but i do like these two extra items but you know both of them can be bought for 15 dollars each that's that only brings the price up to 130 dollars for a gold pro so when I click compare the two of these together, the Pitbull Gold and the Platinum, what you're mostly getting for the Platinum is the extra, the travel lock, the travel pouch or box that we get with it, and the, the rinse stand. Plus, in the US, you'll get 12 months extra warranty in it. However, in the, outside the US, in the UK and other countries, you get two years on the Pitbull Gold and Platinum the same, where in the US, on the Platinum, you get two, you get two years warranty. Or on, and on the gold to get 12 months now the cost the cost is 200 us dollars or 200 pound you can get it for slightly less from the school shaver website if you subscribe to their 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 uh, blade delivery service however that ties you into that although you can cancel that at some point it's a big price hike isn't it from 100 dollars to 200 dollars that's a that's a large price hike now, now these items are sold separately so you could buy a gold pro and then if you wanted a rinse stand buy the rinse stand separately which costs 15 dollars plus if you wanted the travel page that's 15 dollars as well i'll just put purchase one of them but when you have a look in the description i'll put a link to purchasing purchasing the head shaver purchasing the, the platinum plus the gold pro and you should be able to get a discount from your first purchase as well the replacement blades well they cost around about 32 us us dollars every time you replace them the school service says to be replaced every three or four months so you can you can replace them uh much much longer period than that like six months or so it depends how often how often you, you use the shaver um, and you'll, you'll soon know when the when we're wearing down because it will stop cutting so well now i'd recommend taking a look in the description i have some links there and one of the links is to my website review of a, a roundup of the best electric head shavers that i've used and, and i rank them and, and rate them but also i put a video together for the best head shavers that i that i've used uh, the pitbull gold pro is in that the platinum is not within that list but the website but can be updated frequently so if there's anything new that i use or new information then i can add that to it unlike unlike the video so the website you know it can be up, uh, updated at any point if you found this video useful at all please do hit the subscribe button that help the channel and keep you updated with any, as soon as i've got any new reviews going out and do drop a comment if you need to ask any further questions about the platinum or you've had any experience with this shaver or you just want to check out other information take care guys have a great day